one thing that has come up time and time again in conversations with our members over the last year has been all about the importance of data why brands need to use it and how they can really harness the power of data. It's not really any wonder because data has totally revolutionized online advertising in recent years. Brands can now target and understand their audiences better than ever before. At the IB, we've really listened to this and decided to focus a lot of the work that we're doing all about the wonderful world of data. So in Q1, we're working with our steering groups on a data seminar, a Back to Basics Guide to Programmatic, and this video. So in this video, you'll be hearing from our mobile steering group, our video steering group, and our display and data steering group, where we'll be asking them three key questions all about unlocking the power of data. The level and quality of data we now have has transformed the insight and, uh, and targeting we can offer advertisers. Phones, smartphones have become the remote controls of our lives and that's given us a breadth and depth of data once um, unimaginable and that's changed the game forever. I think data has transformed digital advertising in a number of ways. Most notably it helps brands and agencies see with more clarity and act with more certainty. The digital advertising industry is underpinned by data and it's the sheer wealth of this data and how it can be used which is digital's USP. In terms of impact, it's the ability to proactively use first party data which has been transformative in the industry. It's allowed us to move away from a one ad targeted to many towards a one ad targeted towards a select few users. Uh, for us, the, the way we've seen data transform digital advertising is in personalised video, where people can now reach their target audience with relevant personalised video. And we've seen clients having upwards of 200% brand uplift from this. I think data has really fundamentally changed digital advertising in terms of the understanding it gives us of our consumers, um, and it allows us to really talk to them in a much more personalised way. Your best bet is to start with someone who also understands your audience by having a direct relationship with them. That way, you can understand your audience and you can tailor your targeting or your messaging in order to find those people and people similar to that as well. So I think the key thing is to start collecting it, organise it and then test and learn. Um, collecting it, you should use a DMP to look at uh, how your, your audience is reacting to your message. Uh, organising it by starting to segment uh, that audience into different buckets and then start experimenting with it. Look to see uh, what impact certain messages had with one user group compared to another. I think with data you really need to start with who's and what data you can actually trust. Uh, you need to be looking for quality of data rather than the actual volume of it. Um, and you're looking for data that's accurate and transparent and really updated in real time. So the source of data is everything. Where does that data originally come from? Ideally it would come from um, a first party relationship. Um, get that right and you have the accuracy that, that the campaign needs to be built on. Data is the fuel for any strong marketing campaign and it's really the first party data that is of value to the buyer. A good strong marketing campaign will take this first party data and align it with the context, generally using a premium form of targeting such as private marketplaces. If I'm a brand or agency in today's digital world, I think a good first place to start is a data audit. What this means is understanding the customer information you have access to and where it lives within your organization today. This means anything from pixel data to email, CRM, social, you name it. We really need to demand a more responsible use of data um, and really put a lot more emphasis on leveraging first party data. One of the key things is to improve the infrastructure of the ecosystem as a whole. I think standardisation should be looked at as well. Um, we should be looking for instances like the OpenRTP protocol where we can start to align on different measurements in terms of data, uh, whilst of course allowing companies to keep their competitive edge. So we all have to work together in order to build trust, but also communicate the value of data collection. Better data means that publishers can create better content, advertisers can reach their core audience with relevant ads, and also, most of all, 
customers can have a much better experience online. GDPR is really giving consumers a choice about how their data is used and this proactive form of user empowerment is quite a fresh start for us in the industry and as such I really think it should be seen as a positive driving force in the future of digital advertising. Keep the increasing focus on transparency and, and rigour. There's regulation coming our way such as the GDPR but I also think initiatives that come from within the industry like the IAB gold standard are key um, that will create the right environment to use data to its fullest potential. I think as an industry we need to be looking to use data at greater scale and from our perspective it's not the it's not technical capabilities that are lacking it's more that we need to change the mindset and people need to move away from what they've been doing for years and look at different ways of doing things. Mm -hmm.